Deliveries come and go at all hours of the day here at Natura's South London Depot. The fresh fruit and vegetable company supplies high-end restaurants and sells groceries through its own shops. It relies on an international supply chain and tight deadlines. Logistically, the way it works is we've got uh, four deliveries coming in uh, weekly from Milan. We have five deliveries that come in weekly from Paris. And then the rest of the UK supply chain obviously comes in pretty much daily. You're looking at 36, 36 to 48 hours is the vast majority of the produce uh, coming into us. As uncertainty continues over how Britain will leave the European Union, there are worries that supply chains like this could be disrupted. If no deal is reached between the EU and Britain, extra checks and paperwork will be required for goods coming into the UK. For a country where 50% of food is imported, any slowdown could cause huge problems. If products take longer to transit uh, or if uh, there is added bureaucracy in terms of moving product across because we're dealing with an incredibly fresh product where every, every hour counts, um, it, is, it is worrying in, in that respect. The company says it's already seeing a decline in sales to restaurants, which it links to consumer uncertainty over Brexit while many of Natura's workforce are from the EU and are concerned for their futures. UK was part of Europe, so being part of Europe was my home as, as much as Italy. Uh, since Brexit, I don't know if I can call it home, and just that makes me uncertain and like not safe. Given that the pound is also worth less than it was before the Brexit vote, the company says job applications from EU workers have dropped by two-thirds in the last year alone. Brexit supporters insist that both sides want to avoid the worst outcomes and that common sense will prevail. Companies like Natura hope this will be the case, but until a deal is fully agreed, no one can be sure quite what the future holds.